According to the article in the Namibian newspaper, money meant for the construction was diverted to fund renovations at State House, with the situation reportedly forcing the founding president to stay at his farm near Otavi. However, permanent secretary in the presidency, Samuel Tomagosep, countered the claims, saying both projects are budgeted for and that Nuyoma being forced to relocate due to an alleged work stoppage is false information. Tomagosep says the presidency has met the main contractor's financial obligations way before the Namibian newspaper published its report. He expressed his dismay at the responsible journalist, calling him a night before publishing, seeking a response. But is quoted in the media statement, Tungakose promised to get back to the journalist with verified facts from the Ministry of Works and Transport who manages the projects. But before he could do that, the newspaper published the article based on incomplete and wrong information. The presidency further stressed that different contractors are responsible for the separate projects and that they had not been informed of any subcontractor abandoning the site. In terms of the former presidents and pension acts, a retired Namibian president is accorded a fully furnished house, a national responsibility that the presidency will not shy away from, Tomagosep said.